Thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the video. As you can see here, I have a uh, new laser engraver in the workshop. Uh, about a month or so ago, the, the, the good people over at Z-Banks contacted me and asked me if I wanted to uh, check out uh, this particular brand and model laser engraver machine. So I figured, uh, why not? It's always, it's always good to check out different brands and models, uh, test them out, play with them, and, uh, and see what they're capable of. Now this one here is from the longer brand. Uh, this is the Longer Ray 5 uh, 10 watt diode laser engraver machine. Now uh, this is a uh, open frame style diode laser engraver machine with the black aluminum extrusion and aluminum feet there. Um, and, then, and this is pretty much like an entry level starter uh, type machine if you're just getting into laser engraving and you don't want to uh, spend a lot of money uh, this would be a very good option right here. Uh, looks like it's uh, on first uh, first look it's a very good uh, machine very well built and good quality material so I think that should be a plus for anyone that's just starting out and it only takes about a half an hour or so um, to get it set up it comes with all the tools that you need to assemble it and the instructions the instructions are pretty good I didn't do an unboxing or uh, an assembly in the video uh, just because uh, the instruction manual is pretty good and it's pretty boring to just to kind of have to to look through that plus if you have any uh, or you need any help and you have any questions uh, I think the uh, the uh, manual and also the videos on the longer uh, Ray website uh, should be able to pretty pretty much answer any questions you have or if you get have any problems with assembling it uh, but it only took me again about a half hour to put this together so I don't think that you should have any problems at all uh, with this machine so uh, again open frame style diode laser engraver machine um, just to go over some of the uh, some of the features of this machine it has a couple really nice features here and it uh, which you can't see at the moment but behind the uh, behind the control panel there near the blue um, the blue USB uh, cable there right on the back side is a flame detection sensor so that if uh, your material would happen to start burning or get overheating um, that would shut the machine off uh, so that's a good that's a good feature to have uh, in any in any machine uh, laser engraver machine so you definitely don't want to uh, to leave it unattended or whatnot but if you know uh, it gets to that point where your material is starting to catch fire it'll shut down the machine so you wouldn't have to worry too much about that and it also has a movement detection or crash detection so uh, you know if um, you would bump into the machine while it's working it would shut the machine off um, so again that's another nice feature to have um, and as you can see here it also has the um, three and a half inch LCD touchscreen control box and control panel there so uh, you wouldn't really need to hook it up to a computer if you didn't want to. You could just uh, do your designs uh, on a computer, light burn or whatnot, whatever software you're going to use, and just load them up on SD card and put them right in there, the slot next to the USB cable. Now again, I mentioned light burn. Now this is compatible with light burn and also laser gerbil, but they also have uh, longer. Also has a proprietary app that's used to control the machine. It's um, I believe it's called. Uh, the uh, MKS laser app so that you can use it with your phone as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network as the machine uh, you can control the machine upload your designs and uh, run it right from your phone so you really technically wouldn't even need a computer to to run this machine which is a really nice feature I really like that feature um, and then just some of the other uh, specifications I don't know if I mentioned it but it has an ultra fine focus point laser focus point of about 0 0.06 millimeters so you should be able to engrave some uh, really fine detail and cut some really fine detail and get some good tight fits if you're making boxes or or other things where you're putting things together uh, you know you shouldn't uh, shouldn't have any problems with uh, getting nice clean cuts and tight fits on on your material um, and it, it will engrave up to speeds or speeds up to 10,000 millimeters per minute and it has a nice big working area of about 400 by 400 millimeters which is about 16 by 16 inches but then as you can see on the frame there uh, the sides are opened up so you could technically you know uh, engrave larger materials like a big sign or something like that where you could just slide it through you would just have to learn how to tile do tiling on your software 
if you're using light burn or something like that and just engrave it in sections so that uh, you know that's an, another nice feature to have there um, let's see here um, now this also uh, this particular brand here uh, does have different models um, or different bundles that you can get again this one is the longer ray 5 this is their standard size machine um, but they do have uh, different upgrades and bundles uh, you can get it bundled with the air assist that I have there on the left there you can see the air assist there pump and you can also get kits that are bundles that have the honeycomb panel and the rotary attachment so there's different options there for you and different prices if you just want to get the standard kit this one is a good way to go here um, they also have I believe they also have some uh, feet some riser feet that if you would want to use it use those with your rotary or if you just had thicker material that you needed extra height you could put those riser feet on it and, and get some extra clearance there and like I said they also have an enclosure and also I believe a camera that's light burn compatible so there's a plenty of different features and options that make this machine a, a very good starter and entry level uh, laser engraver machine so um, let's see here and then again um, it's capable of a wide range of materials and cutting leather cork acrylic wood things like that now what this machine comes with here this is the basic again this is the basic kit um, as you can see there it comes with the laser safety glasses uh, the uh, height gauge block there the little cylinder there next to the glasses that's to set your uh, focus height and it comes with a small sample pack of some birch plywood and all the tools that you need uh, to assemble the machine. Now one another nice feature of this machine is that when you're assembling it all the screw packages are labeled per, for each step that you need in the process so that way you're not guessing which screws go for which part. You just follow the uh, follow the instruction booklet and then open up the package of screws that goes with that particular step. So that's pretty good there. Um, now I don't think I really missed anything as far as the features on it but again this is a very good entry level machine um, I did test it out a little bit just to ran a couple of test grids with it just to see um, what it was uh, capable of cutting as you can kind of see here I just did a quick test grid there just to see uh, as far as the testing the, the cutting uh, the cut settings on it so I'll go ahead and um, apply those settings. I'm going to do some more testing here real quick. So I'll be back shortly. I'll set this machine up to go ahead and uh, just to maybe test out some material cutting and things like that. And we'll just see how it goes. So I'll, again, I'll get everything set up and I'll be right back.
Okay, well there you can see uh, cutting some different thickness of pine and birch plywood materials. Uh, the three the three eighth inch uh, material there it cut through uh, in one pass. I think that was three inches per minute at ninety five percent power. Uh, the half inch here it almost went the whole way through, if not quite. That that was at um, I think that was about, again, about two or three inches per minute at 95% power. And then obviously the quarter inch plywood here, it did pretty well. I think that was at five inches per minute at 95% uh, power. And then here with the, uh, cut my logo out here. Um, the, let's see, the engraving. The grading was uh, 250 inches a minute and 75% power. And the profile cut for cutting out the little saw blade there was 12 inches a minute at 95% power. Now, I think it did pretty well, um, considering for a 10 watt laser engraver. Um, so if you're considering one, uh, definitely check it out. I think this is a good little machine. Definitely a great starter machine for someone who's just getting into uh, laser engraving. And for the price point on it, uh, it you can't go wrong. Uh, I think right now till the end of the month, uh, this uh, there's uh, a good uh, good discount on these machines from longer. So check them out. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep testing this machine and doing some different materials. I'm going to make some jigs um, on the next video uh, to cut out to engrave some things like some coasters or dog tags or, or different things. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll. I'll work on setting that up for the next video for you. So, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But again, this is the uh, Longer Ray 5 10 watt diode laser engraver. Um, just my initial impressions is that, again, this is a pretty good machine. So, I really can't say anything bad about it as far as, uh, you know, for what it is and a diode laser at 10 watts with the air assist and all the other features like flame detection and movement detection and also with the uh, the LCD uh, control panel there and some of the other nice features on it I, you definitely can't go wrong so uh, I'll put the links in the description as far as uh, where to find these at uh, for on the longer way web on, excuse me on the longer ray website so uh, but other than that if you do have any questions or comments feel free to let me know but thanks for watching